Hello students, in this video we'll see an example of an application of a first order differential equation involving supply, demand, and price. Given functions P of T of a certain commodity, D of T for the demand, so this will be my price, this will be my demand, and S of T will be my supply. And all of these things will be of some good. A model for the change in the price will be dp dt, the change in the price with time, is proportional to the difference in demand and supply. And so we should make a note about this. If the demand is bigger than the supply, so if there's more demand than supply, the price should go up. So that will tell us that K should be positive. And the roles are reversed. So our parameter K here will be a positive parameter. So a simplified version of this model, so for ge general functions D of T and S of T, we will have to note that these are not only functions of time, but they're functions of price. So I can note that this can be rewritten in the following form dp dt in an equivalent form, since p is a function of t and t is a function of p, as k d of p minus s of p. And a particular example we'll focus on is the example when d of p is a minus bp, a decreasing linear function of the price, and s of p will be c plus dp, where here a, b, c, and d are constants. So if we take this particular choice, and let's sort of think about this from the application perspective. As the price increases, the demand should go down, and as the price increases, the supply should go up. So the slope over here should be a positive slope, and the slope over here should be a negative slope. So the choice of signs works out if A, B, C, and D are positive. Now, if we plug this into our formula, we see dp dt is k, and then I will plug in an A minus bp, and then minus C plus D P. And if we gather the correct terms, we'll have a K, and then I'll have an A minus C, that's the term without any P's, and then I will have a minus B plus D times P. Now we notice over here, so let's sort of simplify the problem by making some notation. So I'm going to call this parameter over here capital A, and this parameter over here capital B. So with this notational change, we will write this as K times capital A minus K times capital B times P. Now we notice that this is a separable equation, so we'll have that dP over K a minus b p is equal to dt. And now we can integrate both sides. Now to do the dt integral, that's simple. To do the dp integral, we'll make a substitution. We will let u be k a minus b p. And so my du will just be a negative k b d p. And so I will have that t plus a constant c is equal to the integral. I will place dp with a du, and I'll have to divide that by negative kb. And then the expression in the denominator is exactly just u. So now this will give me a 1 over kb with a negative sign, the natural log of u. So multiplying this negative KB by both sides, I will have that negative KBT plus a constant C is equal to the log of U, which tells me that U will be a constant C times the exponential of negative KBT.
And now the last step to solve for P is to note that U is Ka minus Kb. So this will tell me that Ka minus Kbp is equal to C times the exponential of negative Kbt. And I can now write this as Kbp is equal to Ka minus C, the exponential of negative Kbt. And divided by Kb, we see that P is equal to A over B minus C, 1 over Kb, the exponential of negative Kbt. And so that gives me the formula for the price in terms of time. And so now one thing we can note about this, note, as t approaches infinity, p of t approaches a over b, which is a minus c over b plus d. So this price over here is the equilibrium price of the system, assuming the supply and demand follow linear functions of the price. Thank you very much.